what is up everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel i am zion or z i am a black trans man i have been transitioning for now three years um on hrt hormone replacement therapy uh so i've been on testosterone for three years transitioning from female to male assigned female at birth so just to give y'all a little like insight if y'all did not know um but if you've been following my channel for a while and you've seen previous videos and stuff like that then you know what's up but today i'm just kind of doing like almost like a celebration um video to just kind of celebrate my journey and to just give myself flowers for just keeping going like continuing on this journey because it feels right and it's what i need to continue and actually i'm going to be talking about you know, the things that i have learned from my journey so far about myself about um the trans community about being trans about how the world perceives transness and about like all the misconceptions in between i do have a podcast where i do talk about my journey and i've been making podcast episodes since pre-transition so you'll find podcasts um in the earlier stages of that um show of me being like in college and pre-t and not even talking about anything revolving around my identity so much uh as it pertains to being trans because i was not out yet and i was not aware of my identity then either so you'll be able to hear my journey um in so many different aspects and perspectives from like way back in like 2020 like 2019 uh 2018 all the way until now so i've been through a lot i've lived pretty much two lifetimes at this point um so and i'm just grateful for like you know everything previous to now and i'm definitely grateful for the now and what's what's to come um i feel like i've just and i feel like i need to do a podcast episode of just of like three years just to kind of like just release and talk about everything because honestly it's a lot <laughs> but um some of the things that i've learned so far um especially when it comes to the way the world perceives trans people in the way that our identity is like weaponized for like political reasons and for like government gain it is no being trans is no different from any human experience it's just a matter of literally like i mean obviously there's a lot of aspects that are different than a lot of cis people's reality but at the same time like the experience of being trans is just all about finding yourself embracing every part of yourself and just growing and shedding the layers that don't fit and growing into like your new skin in a way I'm ever it's just crazy to look up and like now it's three years later and I'm living the life that I've always imagined and I will continue to live the life that I always imagined. Um, but this video today, reacting to my transition. So going through photos from like the start to now. And um, yeah, I think this is be nice to kind of just reflect and also just, yeah, just kind of appreciate the journey itself. So. Um, I will likely do a podcast episode talking about all the things I've learned because I've learned a lot over the past three years and I definitely want to go more in depth on that and really shed some light on things that I want people to hear. All that to say, let's go ahead and get into reacting to the photos. So um, photos, videos, transition in general. So we're going to start at the beginning. So yeah, this is me as a baby. Um, one of many pictures that I do not have access to right now. Um, I have like a book somewhere. I'll probably end up doing like a whole baby photo reaction, but I don't even know how old I was. As a kid, I was very much androgynous. And so like a lot of people would just assume that I was a little boy with a lot of hair. And this is actually a photo of me and my mom. This is me and my mom, uh, obviously when I was like a, a baby. 
like real young i guess i'm a toddler here i don't know but even in this picture like if you look at me i just like a little boy with a lot of hair like i don't really have any i'm not super girly or anything like that like i mean obviously i was about to get my hair done um so after it i definitely would have been looking leaning more one way than another because they put like little girly shit in my hair barrettes and shit like that you know all of my hair those would be the dead giveaways but if you were to just look at me you'd be like oh like maybe it looks like a little boy or i don't know a lot of people I, and i'm not just saying that because it's like obviously that's what i see and that's what i want to see now especially like i, I don't want to look back and like have super girly uh baby photos which i do have some uh but yeah i mean that's what other people were telling me too it's not just like me like going yeah you see see i look like a little boy like but like no literally like i used to be called like a little boy like people used to like talk to my grandmother and be like oh your grandson's so handsome and all this stuff and that she would have to correct them correct them but yeah and in case y'all don't know what my dad looks like um this is my dad like if y'all can't tell we 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 look alike and king this, this a little bit i kind of can't believe i'm sharing these pictures with the internet but if you've known me most of my life you know what's up i gotta show you this fucking picture of me and machine gun kelly bro i met machine gun kelly back when i used to like fly back and forth between connecticut and the south and bruh like i met machine gun kelly in the airport in new york i think it was LaGuardia airport or something like that and yeah i got i had to get a picture with him this picture is on a fucking flip phone bro this picture was taken on a fucking flip phone that's probably why he's looking like that because he's like what the fuck am i being set up right now <laughs> Because what the fuck? Yeah, it was a flip phone, but I'm like, bro, Machine Gun Kelly was one of my favorite rappers at the time. And I'm like, bro, you're, I don't give a fuck what kind of phone. I don't give a fuck if I got the Obama phone. If that bitch had a camera on it, I was going to pull it out and take a picture with him. No fucks given. I think this is the first Pride that I've ever been to. And this was in high school. I went with my high, one of my high school friends and we just went to the parade. And I obviously at this time was just identifying as queer. Um... But yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's me, as you can see, pre-top surgery and everything like that, too. So I feel like, I don't know, it's so crazy to look at myself, like, it's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so this is another picture of me. I think this is actually in high school. Um, I used to wear my hair, like, straight. Like, I used to press my hair. Um, and then after that, I started doing, like, twists and stuff like that, but... Yeah, um, I don't know. I definitely like look different, but it's just crazy. Like, I know this as me, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's not, it's just, but then looking at the screen, at, uh, uh, you know, and also just seeing myself now, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's mind blowing. And this is like, wait, this is like years, 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 years before I even like thought about or even knew like that I was trans. All right, so, all right, look, we just got to look, look, no screenshots, okay, but yes, this was my vibe in high school, you know what I'm saying, like, at least for the first couple years, or at, like, my junior year, sophomore year, I was totally into, like, metal and just emo shit, like, punk rock and all that kind of stuff, so, as you can see, I got a Pantera shirt, I was into heavy metal as well, um, you see, I got, a, I got, like, a Pierce the Veil, um, I have a pierce the veil like uh bracelet on like a rubber blade bracelet bro if you if you had like bracelets going up your arm like that was that was my that's my people right there like rubber bracelets going up the arm oh yeah that that's me and the homies you see i got a choker on uh i got a choker on as well so like black nails you know what i'm saying black nails I, sometimes i would do gray and stuff like that but i, I would paint my nails it was my emo era that, that that's when i painted my nails the most you see, I got the, the Pantera tee on. So, I mean, yeah, that, that was that was my vibe. Like, band tees, all that kind of stuff. So, like, most of the stuff, like, literally when I, once I started tra transitioning and, like, most of the clothes in my closet, I did not have to, like, get rid of and, and reshop. Like, I didn't really have that many feminine items. So, this is me, I believe, in college. Uh, probably was, like, in my early late teens early 20s probably like 19 20 something like that um as you can see like i'm wearing all men's clothes pretty much <laughs> uh but you know what i'm saying but 
I mean, you can't see my full fit, but like I never really shopped in the girl section like that. Once I got out of, uh, once I was able to dress myself, I always gravitated towards more masculine clothing and stuff like that because it just seemed fitting. One of the things that made me realize, like, I'm, that started made me think, like, oh, yeah, I might be trans or, like, not even I might be trans. It's just, like, this is not normal. Like, uh, when my great, when my grandmother passed on my mom's side, I had to go to the funeral. And, like, I was getting ready and getting dressed to go to the funeral. And I, I'm thinking, like, okay, all, all my family's going to be there and stuff like that. So I need to try to dress as feminine as possible. Like, because my initially, like, I'm pretty sure I was, like, about to wear, like, a button-up some slacks and you know some nice dress shoes or something like that but like when I'm like I started to notice that every time I go around like my family and stuff like that like I have to make an extra effort to look feminine to dress feminine and like in the process of doing that was so puzzling to me because I'm like I don't know what is perceived as like feminine like I know what femininity looks like but I don't know how to manifest it and harvest it into like reality for myself so I, that's when i that's that around that time is when i really started to be like, like dang like this is not normal like the fact that i have to change like how i am to go around other people that's not normal and it's not it's not a way to live like at all so that's what made me like that's one of the things because even i had early signs and i could if you could you could hear me talk about it in like um, numerous podcast episodes um, there's a podcast episode i'm gonna link it down in the description it's from dim boys um it's a dim boys podcast um and it's an episode that i'm featured on and i talk a lot about my transition and my journey in that in like how i was raised and how i was perceived as male like really young like people would assume that i was a little boy and stuff like that and they called me handsome and things like that so early on like i always was like dang like I, I always had a weird perspective on gender, especially with the way I was raised. But um, I definitely want y'all to listen to that whole podcast and really get an idea of like my perspective because it's really different from how a lot of people were raised, but also how a lot of black people were raised. Like it's very different from that. Because if you know anything about the black community, you know how like, you know how strict things are of like how you should be, how you should act, how you should dress, how you should talk, who you should love. like. You know, all that kind of stuff. How you should identify all that kind of stuff. So I just was a major part. All that to say, talking about like kind of my clothes and stuff like that. It's like that was a major part of like having to change. Like I didn't have to change my wardrobe because I was always authentically myself. The only time that I wasn't is going around like family and going to places where I thought I would be judged and stuff like that. And this is this will give you kind of an idea of how much hair I had. Like I had hella hair. I cut my hair like around the beginning of my transition. I shaved it down all the way like wavelength. But and then now we're restarting with new hair. Like my hair I, honestly it goes out a little bit more than this. It's just a little shrunk down. Like when I style my hair it gets a little smaller, you know what I'm saying? But that's that's on purpose really cuz um yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. That's a whole nother story. Okay, so in this photo, I definitely wanted to show this photo because I wanted y'all to like see I've been doing YouTube. Like, but this is like this is years into me doing YouTube. Like this is years into me doing YouTube. Like I never really was on camera and stuff like that. I started out as a gaming YouTuber. As you can see in the background, you can see a bunch of like gaming posters. There's also like K-pop posters and stuff because this is around the time where I was more into K-pop. Like this is my senior year of high school. I know that for a fact because junior year I was super into like metal and like rock music and then senior year I was more like sh like dove all the way into Korean music uh, like Korean music and stuff like that so um there's some posters like that in the back but I just wanted to show you all this because this is actually when I started to do like show my face on YouTube um like for a long time I just never showed my face on YouTube um, my old YouTube channel was actually called the mighty skater girl and it's actually changed now. It's actually my current gaming channel. It just has a different name, of course. And a lot of the videos are private because, um, yeah, it was like almost a different person um, doing those videos. <laughs> a whole different era in my life. So, like, all the stuff on my gaming channel now is just me currently. Um, I used to love wearing watches, bro. I don't know why, but I stopped wearing watches as much. Like, I think I just got out of the groove of it. Like, I got a new, like, a really nice watch, and then I just never got it fitted for me, and I just stopped wearing watches since then. But, um, yeah, like, that, this is, this was, 
end of high school you know what i'm saying like i was and like my style was always very like either neutral or masculine this is actually i've always been into like fashion and everything like that but this is when i started to get into sneakers like i just was really feeling it these are fucking hirachi bro but i was feeling these shoes you know what i'm saying like when these just first came out i, I was really feeling hirachis like no lie but uh yeah anyway i just wanted to show y'all pictures i want I, I wanted this to be on the internet somewhere okay this is actually me in high school like in the building you know what i'm saying i actually went to high school in north carolina this is me this is how i dress this is like my daily almost like wearing a jacket if i had a chance to wear a jacket i would like i don't really like i didn't really like having you know what i'm saying like and it's like i didn't realize these things or actually i knew about these things but i did not know what they meant like i never i had chest dysphoria like most of my life and even before transitioning like and before top surgery everything like that before coming out i i literally like knew that i had dysphoria like i i knew the feeling of it and then when i found the word for it i was like okay now i know how to explain this to people like once i get into my adult life and start dating and stuff like that like okay look i don't like this this and this because i have dysphoria but obviously at the time i didn't realize that this is something that could align with also being trans like i didn't really have the education to kind of connect those things so i just was kind of in this kind of in limbo <laughs> in a way this is me and my mom um this was actually me touring uh, a uni like a university um to go to school and she was there with me and they like took a picture of me on campus with my mom uh so yeah and this kind of like there i am in that jacket again i like i don't know i feel like the jacket just made me feel more comfortable i don't have to worry much about my chest and that was with that was just in general but as you can see me and my mom we were twins you know what i'm saying we're kind of twins uh but yeah i like this mustache like i'm really still trying to get there honestly still goals i mean truly so this is actually a rare sight of me like actually dressing feminine i probably was going somewhere i probably was going out somewhere even though it's not like super feminine it's literally something that a guy could wear um <laughs> it just looks how it looks because of like you know my body all right so i showed y'all a lot of pre-tea stuff yeah now we're gonna get into some like pictures as i transition so let's start with the fifth day and if you guys want to see the actual like live journey of like when i first started tea like i actually have it on this channel like y'all can check it out like literally like me going to the appointment like just talking my talking through the journey with y'all i say with myself but kind of am is with myself i mean it was me and the camera at the time all right so this is actually five days into tea so i probably was what it's day five so i had taken my shot and then it's about like five days in so I mean, it doesn't really, like, if you, you've seen all the pictures before, like, I mean, obviously already there's quite a difference because my hair, uh, I did cut my hair, like, around, I would say, I would say a few months, it was a few months, maybe a few months, maybe, yeah, it had to be, like, a few months or so before I started tea because, like, before I started tea I had already, like, came out and, like, let people know, like, my pronouns changed and all this kind of stuff like that, so, like, I think shaving my hair, it was, it had nothing to do with um, other people. It had a lot to do with, like, myself. At the time, I had locks and stuff like that. And, um, and I just, like, I had blonde locks, literally goldy locks. And I just was like, you know, having locks is such a spiritual journey. Um, I did not want to, like, that was my, that was my pre t self, like, journey. I wanted to cut my hair and start over because um, eventually I'm gonna lock my hair again, but I'm gonna just enjoy my hair as it's uh, growing back out. And, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just enjoy it in all the different styles. All right, so this is actually 48 days. So this is eight shots into uh, me being on T. Um, this is still pre-op top surgery. And um, yeah, so this is eighth shot is actually pretty significant because the first seven shots that I had of T my mom actually did the injection for me because I, at the time, like, I mean, this is my first time I've never inj injected myself with anything. Um, so it's like stabbing yourself with a needle is like scary, especially since it's a medical procedure. So it's like, I just wanted to make sure I was doing it right. My mom had been in phlebot phlebotomy for like nine to 10 years. Um, if y'all don't know what phlebotomy is, it's literally sticking people with needles and taking their plasma um, so that they can, you know, donate it or whatever they do with it. Um, but yeah, so, so she literally is 
knows her way around a needle because that's what she did for 10 years is phlebotomy is drawing blood and drawing plasma from people so yeah so that's pretty pretty good but that eighth shot first seventh shot she did it but that eighth shot this shot here is actually the first time that i did it by myself and i actually had my own place at this point um i was roommates with my siblings so yeah this this was definitely a, a great time and this is actually um 108 days on t um and as you can see like my hair is super low um i think i ended up cutting it again uh lower and yeah i was trying to see look at some facial hair and stuff like that obviously you know, it, it was not much there at the moment obviously now it's it's bust out the seams you know what i'm saying how i need it but uh but yeah that that's me 108 days on t and this is actually 139 days on t so this is a little bit after that as you can see i grew my hair out a little bit more and i bleached it um because at the time i was just obsessed with like just blonde having having blonde hair like bleaching my hair and then like adding color to my hair and just like just enjoying like enjoying the fluidity of the fact that i could just have all these different looks and just kind of see how i look as i'm transitioning and stuff like that so this is actually a hundred what is it 136 days on t and it's around that time uh but this is actually i think it was new year's uh if i'm not mistaken and I actually went out to, um, like you see in the background, it's like these beams and stuff. It's, I think it's actually like this park um, where I went to college. They had this park um, where they had the like a lake at the park, but like they had this like little bridge that you could walk all out to, to this little like island with like a canopy, like a little gazebo. And uh, so, you, so when you go out there, you're literally like in the middle of the lake almost. Um, so I went out there for New Year's to just kind of reflect and just either it was either New Year's or like a full moon or something like that. And I just wanted to go out there and reflect and just really just uh, appreciate life. You know what I'm saying? Like really just celebrate a new cycle, new chapter. Right here is actually 130 or 186 days on T. Um, as you can see, my blonde has grown out a little bit around here um as opposed to the last time and uh this is actually a piece that my homie Nateo made um so yeah shout out to Nateo and uh as you can see I'm still binding here um still binding 186 days on T and I'm still binding that was pretty op and everything like that this is still at my old place um back when I was living with my sibling Dion um shout out Dion <laughs> and I have these you know I, I cover my wall and uh, walls and like art and, and what what I call portals um when you like literally you know you draw something when you're looking at art it literally brings you to a whole another dimension without you even realizing but um like yeah so I used to draw these like things and I, I was drawing my name and stuff like that and just really like I was really visualizing like this life for myself and you got you guys you guys oh yeah, yeah you guys can see it now um but yeah like literally I was making these these um like portals and these different just pieces of art to remind me of who I am and who I'm becoming. So, I don't even know when this is. I don't even know when this is. No, let me stop playing. I really don't. I can't tell too much. Obviously, it's a bit after that 186 um, timing. Like, like, yeah, it's definitely after. Like, look at that. Look at that jump. Look at that jump. I'm saying, bro, I look good as hell right here. I look good as fuck. I cannot even lie. I look good as fuck. Like facial structure coming in. Like you see the facial structure coming in. Like even look at my nose. Look at my nose. I mean it's a different angle, of course, but like look at my nose. Look at look at my like my actual like my mouth area and stuff like that. Like boy, he look good as hell. I look good as hell. So that definitely was not eight months. Because this is eight months on T, actually. This is eight months on T and this is post-op as well um so 260 days eight and a half months um still under a year um still like my facial structure hasn't hasn't tightened up as much either but also i was recovering from surgery so i was not able to move much um not able to do much i'm sitting in bed i'm snacking chill you know what i'm saying just recovering so um that could have to do a lot to do with my face as well but yeah um definitely before one year and this is actually going to give you a better idea of how like my beard came in a little more too like this video shows pretty well um kind of as my hair was growing in 
<laughs> this is 123 days on T. My facial hair was slowly but surely growing in. 123 days in. See, like this is a little earlier. This is a lot earlier. This is probably like it's probably like a year and some change. You can see like the facial hair starting to grow in more. It looks good. It looks good. This is when I used to get my hair cut a lot. I really don't get my hair cut that much anymore. I was looking around that time, which is just just a different hairstyle, honestly. Like this is I, I love this hairstyle, but well, this is kind of when I was trying to get my fro growing out. Um so I had stopped cutting my hair so much. I, I started doing like super low fades. Um, so I can start growing my fro. You know what I'm saying? If I come, if I pick it out, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's 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 greatness. If you can tell here, this is uh these are these are when my gauges were a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, it's a lot more, a lot wider than this. One. It's like a tiny version of this this gauge. I mean, I'm at a two. If y'all know anything about gauges, I'm at a two right now. This is probably like. I don't know, eight, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the transition is probably like, um, I don't know, maybe a year and a half or a year and some change, something like that, close to two years. I mean, I, I shaved my um, I shaved my facial hair into a goatee um, and I try to do, do a little, you see, you see, you see it lined, you see me trying to line a little mustache up and shit, you know what I'm saying, you see, you see it. I try. Uh, this is kind of when my, my beard was growing back in a little more. Um, yeah, I don't know when this is. This is definitely like two years, two years in. And then this is actually a more recent picture of me and my scars and kind of where my body is these days. Um, I'm not really though, like partially, I've got some like kind of some muscle development a little bit in my chest. I still have scars. Um, I show this because a lot of people expect you to have like perfect scars or, or no scars or anything like that, but like, it is what it is. Like the whole purpose of me getting top surgery was not to have a cis assumed chest, like, or to be, or to look cisgender. It was just so that I would have a flat chest so that when I wear clothes, I don't feel uncomfortable. And that goal has been very much achieved. And yeah, like this is, this is about where I am now. Um, this was taken like maybe last month or something like that, a couple months ago, if that, but yeah. Um, my journey, um so far i have so many more photos that i could show you um but if y'all want to like have if y'all have any questions be sure to ask in the comments below um i have not posted about my transition uh, in quite a while honestly um just because like i am so multifaceted that being trans is like such a simple and minimal part of my life being trans is not like the the highlight of my life I love that I am because I wouldn't be who I am without being trans, of course. But there are so many other aspects of myself that I have to celebrate on a daily basis and that I think about and that I want to share with the world rather than just, hey, I'm trans. Like, no, like, hey, I'm an artist. Hey, I make music. Hey, I have a business. Hey, I'm black. Hey, I'm awesome. Like, I have so many, I'm so multifaceted. I'm, you know, I'm energetically, I have high energy, high, high spirit, you know what I'm saying? So. I just very much like, I, I just want to share my light with the world and my light does not just include me being trans. Like, so, but I'm, I'm so proud and so happy that I've continued this journey because it's just exactly what I needed. And like, I'm just gonna continue elevating and, and, and just achieving all the visualizations that I'm manifesting in my mind. And, and yeah, so uh, if you guys, have any questions like i said you guys can comment down below um and the, oh the reason i was saying i did i haven't posted about my transition in a while is because um i, I stated that because i know people are going to be rude people are going to be disrespectful there are going to people be people out there like that um do your best not to be an asshole in the comments if you have a question and you don't know how to frame it just try to consider like hey if somebody was asking me this how would i want to it to be framed um but and i know we're in a political time too so and trans people are used as like a weapon um, within politics and stuff like that, um, you know, as a weapon, pretty much. And I talked about that in one of my podcasts as well. So if you want to hear me elaborate more on that, rather than just me taking it as a quote and saying, what are you saying? Like, no, like actually listen to what I mean by that. Hope y'all have a great 
day and a better rest of your week and i will see y'all in the next video um thank y'all for watching be sure to like comment subscribe i'm gonna be posting more content and if you are new to my channel be sure to go back and just you know watch some of my old videos check out some of my content i also am owner of a, uh, a digital media company slash esports team named space invaders and be sure to go over there and follow them as well because that's where i spend most of my time working on um a lot of the times that's why you probably that's why you haven't seen as many videos from me on this channel specifically it's because i've been going crazy on space invaders we post weekly on there three times a week on multiple platforms i think it's all platforms except for like ones that are not major like we're on instagram facebook youtube tiktok twitter you name it but anyway i'm out of here it was great sitting and reflecting with y'all and i hope y'all enjoyed the experience just as much as i did Peace out.